Good morning. This video will demonstrate how to paint a cute puppy step by step. You can download everything you need at watsonwatercolor.com and the link is in the information below the video. I'll be using opaque white in this lesson for that furry look in the white areas. That gives you a nice look for white fur the easiest way possible. The first step is easy. Paint the brown parts. I'm using a mix of burnt sienna and raw sienna, and I have dark brown and black ready for the features. I'm not trying to suggest fur in these first washes, but I do paint kind of a ragged outline around the edges. The ears and around the eyes are a light brown. and the muzzle and between the eyes is a very light brown. Next, mix a neutral gray with cobalt blue and some of your brown or use a tube gray. Most of the white areas get a light wash of gray color, but you can leave the center of the muzzle and forehead unpainted. That's where the light is hitting. Now that the light and medium colors are on, add shadows. Wet the area under the eyebrow line with clean water. Then paint very dark brown under that and under the eyes near the center. The real dark goes around the edge of the face and you want a soft edge on the inside. To get a soft edge, I used a just damp brush and soften. The bottom jaw is darker around the edges and lighter in the middle. Mm -hmm. 
On the ears, there's a darker area on the inside edge and a few darker hairs on the bottom half and a little at the top. Keep comparing your photo to your painting so that you can see where the lights and darks are at. You can keep working the values in the brown color, but now is a good time to stop and put in the eyes and nose. Paint the eyes very dark brown. The nose is black on the bottom and the nostrils, and lighter gray on the top. There is also gray under the bottom half of the nose but leave an area right around the edge unpainted. Use a small brush and re-wet a half circle near the bottom of each eye and then lift up a bit of color with the paper towel. That's most of the main areas. You can add strokes of color to suggest fur and keep darkening your shadows as long as you want. If your ears are dry, you can darken the inside edges and soften.
Now it's time for the white. To finish the eyes, you can add a tiny white line at the bottom and a dot of white to each eye. You can also add a tiny line at the bottom of each nostril. And then use thick white to indicate the white hair that's sticking up all over. I'm adding a tiny red color around the puppy's neck because every painting needs a little red. And I think this painting needs a background. I wet the area behind the puppy with clean water. Start with the yellow, putting in more yellow than you think you want because some of this is going to disappear under the other colors. And be sure you paint just a few different sized areas of yellow, not a bunch of spots. Then add your light green. And it looks natural to add a little brown and last, put in some dark green touches. I like Perlin Green. It's just a really handy color to use. If you don't like your background, don't worry. You can dry it and paint it as many times as you like, or even just go over it with a very dark background color. Last, add some white strokes of paint to the body for fur and work on the outside edges, pulling some white into the background. And there you have a cute puppy with lots of fuzz. Painting the white areas gray and then adding white on top helps to make your white fur look realistic. But I'm sure your puppies will be so cute that people will love them no matter how they turn out. Happy painting!